Hey guys, what is going on today? We will be playing some Jurassic World Evolution. I will be completing it. Um, I will be completing the campaign soon. And but today we are going to be making a park. Basically, let's play. I want to say <coughs> definitely the best thing that they've done to the game is probably make the customs menu because. Before, you couldn't flatten, you had to do it all manual, but no, thank god they fucking, um, changed it. It does take a while, though. They should have, like, settings, or a thing where you can, like, a modified thing, where you can save your settings for all of your map, for all your maps. I think mainly I'm just gonna make a normal park with the decorations. We are gonna be showcasing the decorations because of the new update. Just gotta wait for the load. Was it's a big dino print. It's over here. Do you need to get a better microphone? Definitely something that uh, will not know. No idea when we get that. We'll do the showcase. Definitely on the cool, cooler side, set of packs. I might not talk a lot because it's more of just a watch park build. So if I don't talk a lot, that's why.
I'm going to go over what's in the new update. So, the first thing in the new update for Dress Board Evolution is that now, um, don't have to unlock anything. Because for Sandbox, you have everything unlocked automatically. Literally everything. Because I basically had almost everything unlocked except for the dinosaurs. I like no dinosaurs unlocked. I said a tiny bit. But now they just automatically unlock it for you. Completely. Everything is unlocked. You don't have to go and unlock anything. And that literally goes for everything. I'm not lying. Anything that you wanted in the game before in Sandbox that you needed to unlock, it's already unlocked. And that goes for up, like upgrades, um, skin patterns, dinosaurs, buildings, just buildings in general, because every th every single building unlocked. And I also realized that you, there's no large power plant. I mean, it says large power plant, but it's not. It's the second largest power plant from the original game. And, uh, okay. Well, qu quick lesson. First thing. When you're playing the game, now obviously this coverage isn't actually... It's be because I'm in sandbox, it automatically puts it on 100% but when you're playing a chaos chaos mode or a uh, challenge mode if you want to get a v if you want to get a high rating like get like unlock not unlock um get one full star well, not probably not one full star but a large amount of Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm stuck on saying this. Um, if you want to get a high rating, uh, mainly focus on buildings. Now, obviously, focus on dinosaurs. You first need to focus on how many buildings you have. And that means food, drinks, and water is the immediate thing that you need to focus on because. If it's you basically get it close, get it to a hundred or close to a hundred, and your rating will spike up. And this works. I'm not bullshitting anyone. I'm not lying. It really does work. So if you have a park that you're trying to get to three stars, so you can unlock the map, that's all you need to do. If it's close though, if it's close, then do that and it should help. You, anyway, it should help though. I could have put it right here, right in the middle, but the building is stopping it. It says the fountain's big as heck. I could have put it right here, but then there's a tiny bit of path right there. Just a tiny bit. I feel like the amber is definitely a very good thing to have in the game. It makes it feel more like Jurassic World. If you heard about how they added the new gate, the Jurassic World gate, so it's not just the Jurassic Park gate, uh, they did. And if you're confused, you're like, oh shit, not being the decorations? Nope. It's in here. Because I thought it was in the decorations, but it's actually just in the park tour thing. And it 
does actually make it's a very nice um, decoration, surprisingly. So I'm gonna put it. Um, put it right here. here. I gotta build a path first. So it actually makes a very nice. Um, what's it called? Decoration for your park. If you want to put it in a small space, <coughs> uh, <coughs> you can put some plants around it and then it will be pretty nice. Oh my god, you can't put it, you can't fit a tree. I wouldn't know, cause... Uh, plus it phase through a little bit. The best part, you can put tr the placeable trees on paths, so you can make an abandoned forest or something like that. The trees growing on it. It's actually really cool, so you could make an abandoned park if you wanted to. Thanks to the awesome new update. This, uh, this new update was definitely the best update they've had in a very long while. Well, not all wow. while. It. I feel like this. This game is way better with its updates. I'm realizing because the old game it had terrible updates. Well, not terrible, but it's the updates they didn't really add any add anything. They did, but it took them a while to add something cool. Looks good enough. Honestly, if this is real, that would be a very big fire hazard. Very big fire hazard. Let's mention. Oh my God! This tree right here is literally touching the flame. This takes one big gust of wind for the flame to get blown closer to that tree, and then bam, lights on fire. That's palm trees too. That's gonna light up fast phasing into it. Oh, well, that's hilarious. Thanks to PlayStation, I can finally do a video longer than 15 minutes. So, I could this video can is could be an hour long. But I'm not gonna It might be an hour long. I don't know. It's a park build. You never know what happens. But
I need to do uh, Minecraft. I need to stream Minecraft. I mean, not stream, but record Minecraft. I have a ton of games I need to do campaigns on and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I only have enough room for one amenity. It's kind of dumb. I think I might do that. Do I even have enough for a shelter? Oh my god. Shelter Jack is quite small, too. I do have enough for a bathroom. Square actually did this one of my videos. You can actually do this if you don't want to see like the back of your restaurant or park. It's a good idea, not gonna lie. You just add lights. It's not really covering it up, but it is lighting it up. Don't want the park to be pitch black at night. Don't be bright. This is one of my favorite decorations for the new update, cause, come on, it's a Ratadon statue. You already know if this was a real life statue, some kid would jump up and bonk his, oh my god, look at that, that's just waiting for disaster. Bonk his head on the edge of that wing, or cut him, or cut his head. That's a really bad design fall now that I think about it. I mean, not design fall, it's not design flaw. Let's say. I wish you could mirror objects to where. Because I wish you could mirror the spinous, the spinous or skeleton to where it would be facing the same way instead of having to face the other way. I mean, instead of facing one way always. Because if you want to turn it around, then it's just facing the ass backwards. You don't want that. You, want your sp you don't want your Spinosaurus to be facing the ass backwards in the park. Oh, well, there's a lake down here. This looks like an area at, at the zoo that you'd see. You just see this area at the zoo with no fence or anything. Just a pond down there. Cause there's a zoo here with, it has a bridge and it's all like blocked off for some reason. I think there's like a door or something or a gate maybe, I don't know. I haven't been there in a while. Very long time. You know, pandemic and everything. Alright, not bad, not bad. I definitely like this idea to put the gate here, the decoration, as a decoration, I meant. I think this was Jurassic Park one too. I do not have uh, cross eras. I wish I did, but I don't because I have to get a PS5 for that. I hate how they do fucking. I don't mean to cuss, but I hate how do they uh, make you buy a new console just to be able to have cross uh, eras. It's so dumb. 
It's like, why? At that point, you're just giving people even more reason not to buy your game. I mean, obviously, still buy it. I do recommend actually getting this game because this game is actually really fun. It's really a fun game. It's like Sims, but dinosaur. It's like Sims, but it has dinosaurs in it. So if you want, if you want to play Sims with dinosaurs, here it is. I think that's straight, I don't know. playing on PlayStation. I'd recommend playing on computer. Well, plugging, buying a keyboard and playing on keyboard and mouse for PlayStation because keyboard and mouse is actually really good and I actually have a keyboard in front of me. It, it's def it definitely helps to play it on keyboard and mouse because it moves your skills for keyboard and mouse. It will take a while to get used to because it's definitely weird being a console player for so long and then switching. I'm not completely switching. I'm just taking a little break. But I'm also not because playing on console I mean, with controller right now. I don't know why it took me that long to remember it. I just realized you can place this gate and make it a decoration too. I didn't even realize that. Wow. I'm a dummy. I feel like the fa- Okay. Here's the thing. I'm so glad they added fountains because we needed fountains for a very, very long time. It was like, mm, like, I need a very, very big thing that we needed. And I will be honest, I can't tell. I don't really know if I have a favorite decoration. Because really all the decorations are actually really neat and cool. What the fuck? I knew the fountain was gonna cause a bug. Oh my god, that crowd, because it's a fountain, <laughs> better not happen again, yeah it's not happening again, is it, no it's not, okay we're good, thank god, I was about to say like come on, why, why can't I have my fountain at the entrance, area kind of, I feel, like, I feel like this area is better for Spinosaurus. Why do I feel like I've seen this at a zoo? Like, I feel like I've seen this area. I don't know why. Honestly, it's very windy. It's a very windy day in Jurassic World Evolution. I don't know why. It's just always very windy. Because you can see how much the trees shake. They shake a lot. It's stuck in my head. Well, it's not really stuck in my head. But I'm not me. I just pictured a cartoon tree shaking to that dance. Or dancing to that song. I don't know why. Like it's something you'd see in a cartoon. Like Stitch, or something like that. Wheel and Stitch. Like that's a movie that you'd see that happen in. It's a very random thing. You're watching a movie and all of a sudden, dancing tree. Just 
the fuck? Is there a dancing tree on the screen? I wanted to watch a movie about an alien and a girl with friends, not fucking a dancing tree. The hell is this? Come on, mushrooms? <laughs> not even gonna get into that, cause watch Karen's gonna fucking watch this video and start a bullshit about that. Don't want that to happen. Oh, scientists being an option to turn off. OP. OP as hell. So glad. It, we needed to turn scientists off because I was getting tired as hell having to freaking go get a scientist with a high number for incubating dinosaurs and doing that and blah 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 and that, that whole spiel also with the new dinosaur viewer mode where you can view it and see the skins i took a few pictures of my favorite skins and i'm going to find a good dilophosaurus skin you can actually copy this if you want because they should make a very neat dilophosaurus very beautiful dilophosaurus so bam bam now you'd think it look like ugly because it's the same color but basically the same color yeah. i'm only incubating one and then the rest i'm gonna do random skins because it's like it's weird to have all of the same dinosaur Bam. Beautiful. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. That was dark. This dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus, has a distinctive neck frill it can expand when it senses danger. Oh, yeah. this, it's this also been known to spit into the Definitely eyes of its prey, blinding nice it before it goes in for the skin. kill. Definitely, well, not definitely, but might be the thumbnail. Might be, I don't know. Perfil, Jurassic World Evolution Perfil, Dilophosaurus included. Alright, now you do the randomization. So you don't want a ton of Dilophosauruses being the same skin. You want some variety in there. I used to have them all in the same skin, but then I was like, eh, I need variety in my park. <laughs> Just looks better with more variety. The Lophosaurus definitely has some unique um, skins. Is this the copy? Did he copy it? Oh no. Very close. Oh, very close. Where is Luffy 1? You're the alpha because definitely the prettiest out of the group. Why does it keep zooming out so far? Now, here's the actual park. Kind of actual park build part. Because you want your dinosaurs that beautiful and fish, not some she not just a puddle of water and tree but when it comes to chaos mode you don't really give a shit what your park looks like because you're just focused on getting that four stars and then leaving so you can build a park on the sandbox there you go there's the thrill Oh, 
guys got to see the beautiful thrill. Yep, the water is very deep. It's deeper than it was originally. Also, added. You can't really see it that good. I need to add sand to it. Really. I can't see it at all. Sudden night cycle on. doing the social animation. I love the social animations for this game. They're amazing. Such a good idea to add them. Now you can see it. Look at that. You see the way the water looks now? It's not like the original. Because once again, I'm pretty sure they didn't have that in the original. Because I remember the gaming beaver saying that, that he didn't remember them having that. I don't either. I don't think they had that because the original wasn't as detailed as this one. Something more detailed. I remember watching their like early review because they got to play it early. And I was just like, oh my god. It's because when they sh the when the guy in the helicopter shot his rifle to like tranquilize the dinosaur. It sounded like a fucking mobile mobile game. I was just like, "Ooh, it sounds like a mobile game." It sounds like somebody shooting like some fake gun in a mobile game. It did not sound good. But obviously that was just a, a beta. So it wasn't completely good. It wasn't actually like ready. It wasn't gonna be. Good. Just plants, palm trees. We used to have palm trees at our house. We cut them down, and when we cut them down, down came three baby squirrels too. Yeah, baby squirrels chirp like birds. Yeah, they know they can chirp like fucking birds. They were legit. We thought they were birds, but nope. Out came mammals. What in the hell? Now squirrels might not be mammals. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. I mean, I the fish. So yeah, some closure done. No, I'm joking. I gotta add a little bit more tree. Can you say love every day? No. Oh, I also gotta add rock sand. Now it looks better. It's starting to look better. Is that engulfing a tree? Yep. Wow. They sound like cats. They kind of sound like cats. Now I gotta add a big gust of sand. Just a bunch of sand everywhere. I feel like it makes it look better. I also feel like dinosaurs would enjoy that better because it's just t it's just bits of sand in the grass. Cause, and it would feel good after a while. Feel good on their feet. When I w when I went to the beach again in San Francisco, I I jumped on the um, sand. I was like, oh my god! Cause I remember thinking I was like, oh, sand sand doesn't really feel it feels good, but it doesn't really feel that great. It feels amazing. <laughs> I misjudged so much because I've forgotten because it had been forever. Oh my god! The way they uh, growl, it's so creepy, it's so menacing. Also, I don't even think they're growling. I think that I think that's them just breathing. I don't know. They're a weird dinosaur. Very cool though. I hate how in real life they I don't even think they have frills. Cause I remember them saying like, wait, I don't think they don't actually have frills. That sucks. They actually looked they actually look very close to what they look like in uh Jurassic World Evolution. 
two and one. Very, very close. They actually did have the big crest on their, uh, on their head. Same point on their crest, but their, their jaw, they, they basically have the same face, except here, let me. All right, so in their mouth, it goes up. Like near the middle of their mouth, it, they're, it like takes a big dip up. I don't know why, but their just jaw does that in real life. And uh, what we think the off source look like. Apparently that's what but yeah, so Jurassic Park dinosaurs are too far. From me. God, I don't know why it has the option to look out. It's like, yeah, what if dinosaurs gonna walk in and look at us? This, with this normal human park, human park. Oh no, 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 no. anatomy park. I almost just said from Jurassic Park. I'm an idiot. Rick and Morty. Honestly, that was a pretty good reference. It wasn't bad either. They did a really good job on it. And my favorite part is how they use diseases as the attractions. That was actually very clever. And that could be a thing. That could. That could very well be a thing in real life. In the future. People would. Honestly, maybe not even in the future, we might actually have the technology to do that. Except I don't think we can freeze down to microscopic size. I don't, however, think that's a thing that can happen. Yeah. Three. Um, I am going to end the video after this. After this uh, dino placement, because... I am getting tired and I'm gonna do Indominus Rex because let's let's admit it, Indominus Rex is sick as hell in this game. It looks way better than the first game, and it has better skins. I'm just gonna find the picture of the best skin. Right? Oh, this this skin is chocolate. Very very chocolate. Chocolate skin. Can you say my? Can you say? Can you say my? Can you say my? Can you say my? Can you say my? It's a really good 21 pilot song. Alright, time to speed this up. Up. Not ump. Is it hump? What am I trying to say? Hump? Hump day? It ain't hump day. It's Friday. I will be releasing this on Friday too because I don't edit. Yeah, I don't edit my videos. Also, my video resolution is shitty, shittier than uh, normal because PlayStation has shitty recording. It looks terrible. My videos aren't as good. I could have done that. Oh my god. I'm Dr. Henry what? Wu. I'm Did a scientist. Some might call me an artist, a sculptor. My sculptures are living, breathing dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. What can I say? The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful 
and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. So treat it with the care and respect it deserves. Oh wait, no, I did, I did, I did save. Oh wait, we don't need extra scientists <clears throat> because Okay, not bad skin, not a bad skin. I need to put some raptors in here. All right, after, hold on. I guess these. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I'm going to put some raptors. Actually, I think I'm gonna put uh, the raptor squad in here. Can you say? Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Every day, though. Keep it brief. And that's it. Done. Oh, he camouflaged. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur. The well, Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. That is not a joke. <laughs> that is just straight mean. Damn, Grady. Saying your future wife is a, can be a murderer in the blink of an eye. Damn, Grady. Damn, you're just gonna roast her like that? I'm completely joking. We have to add some mud. Because it's the Indominus Rex explosion. The Indominus Rex. This is why um, I like Tropical because the dirt is so pronounced in this one. You can see it the best. That plane in the mud. Oh, shit, they're talking. I thought they were gonna do the animation. It's rare for it to happen. Appar yeah, they can actually do the animation. It's, it can happen. Better not do it when I'm looking away. Should I put the entire raptor squad? I should, it's necessary. Watching you. I'm watching you. 
speed it up, bro. Speed it up. 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 Right, getting up. Oh my god. You don't know how fucking you do. Oh my god, I caught that on camera too. Yes. Okay. I'm only like happy because it has taken like YouTubers forever to get that seed. Like it, they don't even get it sometimes. They like try whole videos. Like it takes, they literally tell their, they tell us like, it takes them hours and they still don't get it. Even if, even for hours, they still don't get it. And I just got it like that. I just got it easy. <laughs> I feel bad because that was too easy. I I knew it was gonna happen too because I was like, how is this so hard? That is awesome. So yeah, I just proved, well, I didn't really prove it, but it's been proven, you can do it. All you gotta do is just put two Indominus Rexes, one if you want, and then a Raptor. I'd say put one raptor and then put them after the interaction happens, so. But yeah, put it after the interaction, so. Do it. Interaction isn't missed. <laughs> no. Uh, there you go. Once again, it happened again. It how is it that proves that it's not that hard? It's not hard at all. That proves it. Proves that it's fucking bullshit. One, when... well, it's not bullshit, but that proves that they might actually be lying on how hard it is. But I doubt it. I doubt they lie about that. I'm guessing it's because they put like a ton of raptors. They put a ton of raptors. Because I've, I've done these names so many times from the original game that it just saves. It already knows. It knows it's real. Um, right, well, I'm going to end it off there because you guys got to see the raptor interaction. So yeah. Um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.